Hi, I'm Teacher Dennis, and on this video, I'll be discussing the probability notations. So basically, there are two uh, cases, and we are going to discuss which area under the normal curve are you going to uh, consider uh, on those two cases. Okay, so the first case is uh, on the left of the Z. So say, for example, your Z is a negative value. So here, okay, so a negative Z here, and a positive z here okay so we're going to consider the left uh, side of uh, that uh, curve okay of our curve so for this case uh, we usually uh, denote it using uh, less than z at most z no more than z to the left of z or below z okay so remember whenever you see this kind of uh, expressions you're supposed to consider the left side or the area on the left side of our z scores okay while for our case number two okay uh, it's on the right side of our z so say for example this is our negative z okay once again and this is our positive z on this case, we consider the right side, okay, the right, the area on the right side of our z. So the expressions used whenever we are going to consider the right side are greater than z, at least z, more than z, to the right of z, and above z. Okay, so let's have an example. Okay, so uh, for number one above 1.46 okay so i'll be using an applet in uh, geogebra so you can download it uh, in geogebra classic you can search for z scores and uh, you can look for uh, this kind of uh, automated uh, program so that you could see okay so this is 1.46 okay so this is how it looks like, okay? So 1.46, okay? So again, uh, our example is above, sorry. It must be above Z. So it falls under the second case. So in short, it's on the right, okay? So the area here must be on the other side. So the drawing must be like this, okay? So this uh, gray area on the right of our 1.46, okay? So according to our... Uh, to our automated uh, program, the area must be uh, 0 0.721. How are we going to uh, get that? Okay, so in our table, okay, I'll be using a table wherein uh, our reference is from the very middle. Okay, so let's find first our okay, our 1.46. Okay, our 1.46 will fall under this one okay so one so this is your uh one and then 1.1 1. 1, 1 point ah sorry 1.01 1. 1. 1.02 1. 1.03 okay and what we need is 1.46 so i'm looking on the wrong side it must be on 1.4 okay one two three four five six okay so this is the one so 42 zero 0.4279 so we could highlight that ah by using green okay there okay 0.4279 okay so let's draw it so that we could uh understand it better so once again our number one is above z equals to 1.46 Okay, so by the help of our GeoGebra, and if you understand and listen to me carefully, if our 1.46 is somewhere here, so if our Z score here is 1.46, okay, uh, the area to, to be considered is this part. Okay, so let's color it orange. Let's make it smaller. Okay. So 1.46 here, okay? So that is the area that we're supposed to get. However, in our table, what we uh, what we have seen in our table using our Excel is one point uh, four point four point zero zero point four two seven nine zero zero point four 
0.279 okay so we're supposed to get this area and that area is just remember that half of our curve the area on the uh, right side from coming from the zero going to the right is just 0.5 of the whole curve so all we need to do is we could type it here and I will sh show you once again the magic okay 0 0.5 where is it? Okay, 0 0.5 minus 0 0.4279. Okay, 0 0.4279. Okay, and then equals hit enter, and we're going to get 0 0.721. Okay, so verifying it in our GeoGebra. Okay, so uh, can you see it properly? So there, okay, so the area that gray. This gray area over here is 0 0.721. Okay, so just ignore the negative value since there is no such thing as an, a negative area. Okay, so oh, there, uh, this one, the red, uh, it was denoted here. Okay, so our probability, okay, uh, below. Okay, sorry, above above 1.46 or Z is greater than 1.46 is 0 0.721 and we are correct. Okay, so this is the manual way while this is the uh, fast way in getting it. Okay, so let's consider the next examples. Okay, so this time we're supposed to get, okay, so number two below z equals to 0 0.58 okay so let's use our geogebra so that we will be guided so 0 0.58 0 0.58 so how about uh we do uh we use this later on let's use manual first and verify our answer using the geogebra uh, program later on okay so where is our okay so hold on i have to Okay, so there. So uh, once again, it's 0 0.58. Let's use our uh, magnificent uh, Excel table. Our Z table will uh, go here, 0 0.5, and then 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this is our value for uh, 0 0.58, so 2190, okay? So let's try to understand uh, it by drawing. So if it is below 0 0.58, okay, so this is our uh, 0, and then 0 0.58 will uh, somewhere be here, kind of close to our 0. Okay, so that is our Z, which is 0 0.58, okay. Since it's below, it will fall under our first case, wherein it's on the left, okay, below Z, okay, so case number 1. So on the very left, okay, so the area must be something like this, okay, okay. However, uh, the one that we are going to get in our table is uh, this one, okay, so this area. I will just shade it. So from 0 going to uh, 0 0.58 is this area. So all we need to do is to add whatever we got earlier to 0 0.5 okay remember that half of our curve is 0 0.5 so 0 0.5 okay so right let's write it down here and then i will show you once again the magic so 0 0.5 plus the one on the right so 290 2190 0.2190 equals okay so this must be the area okay below 7119 okay so let's verify using our geogebra okay so since it must be on the left so let's use this uh, dial here and there okay so can you can see that the area here this gray part is this green area which is 0 0.719 so we are correct in our manual computation okay and the very last is between Z uh, which is 0 0.78 
and the second z which is negative 0.95 okay so let's try to draw it first so for our number three okay so number three is between z equals to so since this is the positive value let's have it on the the z2 our z1 then is our negative 1.95 okay so we'll be using our uh our GeoGebra later on to verify our answer but drawing it okay so this is our uh, normal curve okay this is our zero this is our negative 1.95 somewhere uh, say for example this is our one this is our two okay one two so somewhere here is our negative okay so this is our negative two negative one so somewhere here is our z1 which is negative 1.95 and say for example this is our 1 this is our 2 so almost uh, going to 1 so maybe somewhere here it's 3 4 of it okay so this is our z2 okay which is 0 0.78 okay so the area here between them okay is what we need okay but remember in our table we are we can only use uh, positive values so let's consider since it's bilateral symmetry the 1.95 and the negative 1.95 uh, will uh, yield uh, the same area okay so let's get the 1.95 first okay so 1.95 and then later on our uh let's, see, let's keep it uh, let's just have it blue okay who is stiff what's purple let's see what okay so there okay so this area later on. okay so let's have 1.95 first using our uh, table in our excel 1.95 so 1.9 let's go to 1.9 and then let's go to 5 okay so 474 okay so 0 0.4744 Okay, so let's write it here, 0 0.4744, am I correct? Yes, and our 0.78, okay, so let's go to our Excel again, 0.7, okay, let's go to 0.7 and under our uh, 8, okay, so 0.78 is 2823, 2823, so let's write it here, 0 0.28. 23 so all we need to do is to add these areas the green one and the purple area and we are going to get okay so let's use the magic of one note once again so 0 0.4744 plus 2823 okay sorry must be 0 0.2823 equal so that's the uh, addition sentence hit enter and wow magic okay so the area is 0 0.77567 okay so let's go to GeoGebra and let's plot the negative 1.95 here negative 1.95 here and the second z must be uh where is it uh 0.78 Okay, so 0.78 and our area then would be okay so it must be the I think the sum let's see how do we use this okay our answer is 0 0.7567 okay so I think ah there I understand how to because this is the first time I've been using this uh, program so it only means that the gray area over there is this green area while the outside areas are the white ones okay so this white ones is this red font okay the probability here to 177 so what we need is the area between so the gray area is 0.7567 and it tallies with our manual computation so there Okay, so hopefully you understand how to use our uh, table. So by the way, we are using uh, set once. For those who watched the video yesterday, uh, I denote our uh, table, okay, 
our positive table coming from the zero reference coming from the very middle okay so this excel file is our set one table okay so thank you so much for watching hopefully this could help you in your lessons in understanding the uh, probabilities under the normal curve okay by understanding the uh, two cases of our uh, probability notations. Okay, so see you soon. Bye-bye.